Now the better consistency is right. We need to bake it in the oven at the temp. Hey, Sammy. So I'm filming my culinary vlog here. <clears throat> Where was I? Right, we need a preheated oven. Ah, uh, that won't work. Our oven is broken. What? Yeah, the repair specialist will come in three days. Three days? Three days? I can't wait that long. Chef Samuel can wait that long. <sighs> Easy, Chef Samuel. Take a deep breath. There's a solution. You know there are cakes that don't need baking, right? Look, I even bought all the ingredients. All right, my vlog is saved. Hi, guys. Today we're not baking, but caking. I mean, we're gonna make a cheesecake without using the oven at all. So give a thumbs up if you like this idea. Oh, that's a lot of crackers. Maybe I can have one or two? Oh no, Sammy, we need all 450 grams. Ow. If you want to help, microwave one pack of unsalted butter. But be careful! In the meantime, guys, let's make some noise. See, guys? The graham crackers should be properly crushed like this. I can do that too! <laughs> Sammy, where's the butter? A moment. I never forget things. Here you are. Now we need to carefully pour the butter right here. And mix it all really well. So I got it. You're making the crust for our cake, right? Right, Sammy. Look, the base for the crust is already ready. <laughs> Chef Samuel has an intuitive thing for cake recipes. <laughs> All right, now we need to take a springform pan. Wait a moment, you said we're not baking today. <sighs> Why are you so impatient, Sammy? You don't let me explain anything. We need this baking form to shape the crust of our cake. Let's pour everything out from the bowl really carefully like this. Oh, not a single tiny crumb left. I thought my tasting abilities would come in handy. Well, your cleaning abilities might come in handy. Wash this bowl properly, please. We'll need it later to mix our cheesecake filling. And don't forget to dry it well. In the meantime, guys, let's evenly spread the crust like this. Unbelievable. She didn't even let me taste a tiny bit. And I have to wash dishes? Outrageous. <laughs> that grumpy little slime. Guys, press the crumbs all over the cake tin. Now that our crust is done, we'll leave it to chill in the fridge for 30 minutes. Stay tuned, guys! Guys, we're moving to the cheesecake itself. Take a small bowl filled with water like this. You're gonna need it to make some gelatin mixture. It's better to use cold water. Good point, Sammy. Now let's pour gelatin powder. We need two tablespoons of it. There we go. And now let's mix it all properly. Mix to the left, mix to the right. Make the mixture hold on tight. Oh, I see MC Sam is in the house. <laughs> Leave it for five minutes away, then take it for 30 seconds to a microwave. Oh my, wrapping and cooking? Sam, you're a multitasker. Guys, it's time to add cream cheese to the condensed milk. Looks tasty. Now we're gonna mix it all up. For that, I'll use our mixer. Guys, better ask an adult to help you here. That was fast, right, guys? Sammy, here comes your favorite part. Oh, yeah, yummy. Come to papa. Oh, Sammy. <laughs> Next, we'll add some cream. Pour it carefully. Here we go. And mix it all well as usual. Sammy, how's it going? Oh, uh, one second. Oh, that slime never stops surprising me. <laughs> Here's the mixer, Sue. Oh, thank you, Sammy. Shall we make some noise again? <laughs> so you forgot something. All right. Guys, you can melt white chocolate in a water bath. And don't forget the gelatin mixture. Oh, Sammy, what would I do without ya? Let's pour it into our mixture as well. Add vanilla extract. Yeah, yeah, I'm already on it. Good, now we're talking. Oh, no, not again, Sue! 
Oh, but Tammy, we need to mix it all properly once again! Then I'm gonna go find my hype balls! That's better. Sammy, could you bring me six little bowls, please? What? Bring me six bowls, please! Uh, do you need a football or a basketball? Ugh, Sammy, no, I, I meant... Ugh, I'll be right back, guys. These are what I asked you for, Sammy. Hello. <laughs> That's what you meant. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> That's okay. Guys, now we're going to divide our filling into six even parts. And we're gonna need food gels of six different colors. What color should we start with, Sammy? I prepared a special color spectrum palette and the first color is... Yellow! Wow, what a cool idea, Sammy! All right, let's start with yellow! Guys, just a couple of drops will be enough. One and two. Great. Guess what? We're gonna mix it well. Magic! <laughs> it's perfect! Uh, what color's next, Sammy? The next is blue! Ah, and we're mixing! Whoa, so beautiful! <laughs> red! Now red! Guys, that was mesmerizing. Give a thumbs up if you agree. Sammy, can I ask you to invite Elsa to help us here a bit? In the meantime, I'll bring the crust. Our Elsa? All right. Guys, our crust is ready. Now we can pour the red part of our filling into the spring form. I wonder where Sammy is. Elsa's here. <sighs> Hi, darling. We need your magic. Would you be so kind to help us? Sure, no problem. Whoosh! Guys, you'll need to put the cake into the fridge for 20 minutes each time you add a new layer. We decided to speed up this process with the help of Elsa's frozen magic. <laughs> oh, I see. That's genius, Sue. <laughs> I know, right? There we go. Da 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 da. <laughs> oh, what a nice color! Perfect. I didn't think that cooking was so easy. You're right, Elsa. <laughs> Here we go! Only the purple layer is left. I can't wait to taste our cake. Once you're done with the layers, place your cake into the fridge to chill for at least four hours. Unless you know somebody with freezing magic. <laughs> hmm. Is it just me, or was the crust face just a bit higher? Well, I don't know anything about that. I you saw nothing. Okay, it's even better that way. Now we need to decorate it. Susie, I think we need to decorate our cake. <laughs> Great minds think alike, Sam. I'm already making the whipped cream. Hold it, I'll write down all the ingredients. I want to share this recipe in my culinary blog, if you don't mind. Not at all. Then write down 250 milliliters of whipping cream, half a cup of sweetened condensed milk. Condensed milk. <laughs> Got it. Oh, I almost forgot. Add a couple of drops of vanilla extract. <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> I believe it's time for the mixture. That's right. Thank you. Here we go. Guys, if you don't like working with the mixer, you can ask an adult to help you. Yeah, it can also be cleaner if an adult works with the home appliances, right, Sammy? Yeah, it was fun when I forgot to close the lid of the mixer. Oh, my smoothie went to the ceiling. <laughs> it wasn't fun for me at all, cleaning all that mess, you know. Anyway, guys, the whipped cream is ready. Let's make our cake beautiful, not only on the inside, but also on the outside. A piping bag will come in handy. We'll do it this way. Oh, that's one of my favorite parts of cooking. By the way, before decorating, carefully take the cake out of the form and put it on your favorite plate. One more swirl here. Nice. 
Whoop, don't forget the sprinkles. I'll leave that mission for you. Okay, make way. One can never have too many sprinkles. Am I right, guys? Give a thumbs up if you agree. Wow, the cake looks awesome. Let's check it out in all its glory. anything. <laughs> okay, guys, are you ready to check out the inner beauty of this cake? Here we go. Be careful with the knife. Ask an adult to help you. Oh, quick, Sue. I can't wait to taste it. <sighs> Slow down, Sammy. Better check out this beautiful rainbow. Awesome! Hi guys, today we're going to bake an amazing cake with M&M's. A cake? Susan, it's not that I'm complaining, but I thought we were talking about the captured in the moment thing. We're still talking about that, Sammy. It's just that I thought, why spill out the whole pack of tasty sweets for nothing if we could successfully use them as the cake decor? Ah, I see. Besides, this way none of us will be cleaning up candies from the floor. How wise is that? Guys, give us a thumbs up if you agree. And I'm totally ready to help you, my genius friend. Just tell me what to do. Give me a second to sift all the dry ingredients and I'll give you an assignment. Wow! Oh, it's like a snowball! Wow! And now the snow has become brown. What's wrong? <laughs> it's cocoa powder, Sammy. We're adding it to the well-sift mixture of flour, caster sugar, some baking powder, and a tiny bit of salt. Now we need to mix all of our dry ingredients very well. This will additionally enrich the whole mixture with the oxygen. Then I assume the next ingredient is butter. Very good, Sammy. Thanks, my sweet helper. Here we go. With our experience in cake making, there is no recipe that I still don't know about. Guys, click around our channel for more videos about baking. And in the meantime, we'll properly incorporate the butter. If Sue is doing what I think she's doing, she's gonna need four eggs for the batter. Let's see, what do we have here? Oh, the eggies! One, two, three, and wait a second, where's one more? Okay, we're done here. Let's put this aside for now. Susie, look! Unfortunately, the fourth egg managed to escape and now is hiding somewhere. Oh, really? Then what is this? <gasps> so you're a magician! That's nothing, Sammy. Now you'll see some real magic. Are you ready? Yes, Sue, of course! Then look closely. Bibbity bobbity subscribity! Wow! Wow, Sue! Uh, but wait, where did you get them? What? <laughs> Sammy, we still have some tricks left. Here are four room temperature eggs. Let's add to them this. Now the mixture looks a little bit different. Um, Sue, that was cool, but what was that? <laughs> it was 350 milliliters of buttermilk. It's very important to not stop whisking. Your hand actually might get tired after this stage. That's unbelievable! She mastered a new magic trick without me! Oh, I'm gonna go preheat the oven! While Sam is dealing with the oven, let's add some vanilla extract. And we'll whisk it all again. Yeah, that's right. And now it's time to combine the wet ingredients with the dry ones. Like this. Let's use this buddy right now. <laughs> Without any tricks, though, I still need some practice here. Guys, you'll need kind of a baking pan. Now we'll just pour our perfectly mixed batter into it. Meh! Sue, you just ruined my dream about bathing in a chocolate pool! Oh, Sammy, Sammy. I really admire your imagination. Guys, before you pour out the batter, grease your pan with baking spray. Or you can use parchment paper instead. Now we're going to bake our sponge cake at 180 degrees Celsius for about 30 or 35 minutes. But remember to not use the oven without the adult's supervision. And don't you go anywhere, because we have something interesting to deal with in the meantime. 
Okay, guys, while our sponge cake's baking, we're gonna make a very delicious frosting. We'll add 250 grams of butter to one pack of softened cream cheese. Like this. And beat up those two together very well. Hey, Susie! I came up with a song! Wanna hear it? Sure, Sammy. Why not? Ahem. The whisks in the mixer go round and round. Dizzy is working safely and sound. I'm gonna give her a wonderful treat about a sugar and cocoa knee. Alternate the stew with a bit of milk and you'll get the frosting that you need. Whoa, Sammy, that's a cool way to remember a recipe. Do you agree, guys? Then give our rapping master a thumbs up. But he actually forgot about two tiny details. Vanilla extract and a touch of salt. <gasps> You're right! These two babies will definitely reach the taste of the frosting! Sammy, why don't you go check the oven? And I'll finish here. With all that singing, I totally forgot about the sponge cake! I'm on my way, sweetie! <laughs> oh, Sammy. Guys, here's a little secret for you. Carefully insert a wooden skewer into the sponge cake. If it comes out dry, your cake is ready. Phew, this one is done. Huh, well, Sammy's not watching. Susie, huh? the sponge mm. is ready! Oh, just in time! <laughs> oh, stop it! <laughs> oh, Sue, so I'm just hungry! Sammy, I know that you're dying to taste our cake, especially when the smell is so good. Okay, so I'll try to keep myself together. Good, but let's speed up and remove the top. That's better. Oh, Susan, hurry up! I can't wait any longer! Sorry, Sammy. Let's make our cake a little bit taller. Awesome! <laughs> um, well, uh, why isn't it working? What should I do? Oh, well, I'll figure it out. Guys, do you have any ideas? We really need the third layer. <laughs> Oh, Sammy, no! Huh, I wasn't allowed to! I thought if the trick didn't work, then I could eat it! Oh, Sammy. How should I fix this? <gasps> right! It's gonna be big. Ah, uh, what did you say? Um, right, it was all planned! Ah, uh, but what was she talking about? It won't be just a regular cake, guys. We'll be making a surprise cake. You'll see soon. Hop. Ta-da! Awesome! <laughs> See, you could've asked me! I proved I can deal with that! No, Sammy, we'll need this piece. Look, shake, shake, shake! Wow, so cool! Wow, Susan, you're nailing it today! <laughs> Thanks, Sammy. And we're ready to start the cake assembling. Don't forget to place a smear of frosting on the cake circle. It will prevent it from sliding. I already did that, Sammy. I wouldn't miss this important part. Finally, Sue, it's time for candy! No, Sammy, it's frosting time, actually. Ah, uh, well, I'll keep an eye on them then. <laughs> now we'll need the spatula. And Sammy, please don't get too excited. <laughs> I know what happens when you get the candies. Huh? Uh, sure, Sue, you can trust me. <laughs> All done, guys. Sammy, bring me the candies, please. Uh, yeah, sure, Sue, I'm on it. Uh, oops. Oh, Sammy, it's good that I saved another package. <laughs> Phew, so you always save me. Yippee, yay! Ow! Uh, careful, Sue! Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, Sammy. Our second sponge cake also comes with an opening in the middle. We'll put some frosting again. And the m and candies, of course. It's like a rainbow. It's my favorite kind of rainbow! And the third sponge cake will act like a lid for our cake. Now we need to cover the whole cake with a thin layer of frosting. Oh, Sue, that's gonna take forever! We'll see about that, Sammy. Oh, wow, Sue! That's what I call speed! There we go. But guys, this is only one layer of frosting, which is called the crumb coat. You need to let it set well in the refrigerator. 
Yeah, but we don't have much time, so… <laughs> so maybe that's enough? <laughs> Let's see. Yep, we're good. <laughs> uh, your new magic tricks are gonna give me a cold. Achoo! Now we'll put one more layer of frosting and let it freeze again. Great job, Sue! You're a real pastry chef! Here's this handsome guy. Cool, right? We just need to decorate it. Susan, can I try to do that? Oh, sure, Sammy. I totally trust you. Then here we go! Wow! Awesome! Wow, it looks very cool, Sammy. But do you remember why we actually started all this? Ta-da! This is an empty package of candies attached to a wooden skewer. Now we'll insert the whole thing into the cake like this. Sue, and how are you gonna… Ah, I got it! Yes, Sammy, we'll cover this part with some frosting. And finally, it's time for candies! That's right! We'll just add more M&Ms on top. More candy, Sue! Is that enough, Sammy? <laughs> Guys, let's have a closer look at our cake. 